Hey guys, X Rex here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the door mechanism from an X Data XF. So this is a driver's door. First thing you want to do is lift the window all the way up. The next thing I usually do is the actual outer door handle, which I believe is a 932 of an inch screw, like so. So there's going to be two of them. This is my little thing that I usually do. So I've got a quarter drive with a short socket on it. And what I'll do, the first one's pretty easy to undo. And then for the second one, it can be a little bit tricky. My normal trick is I lift the outer door handle a little bit. And through this little hole here, I'll put the extension through with the socket on it, like so. And then I'll kind of hold the door handle up while I'm screwing. That's it. Once that's done, you should be able to get the door handle and just kind of open it up from the outside to undo the rod, like so. Now you're gonna find your catch is just three Phillips head screws. Shouldn't be an issue. Next thing I'll do, Just a 10 mil for the inside handle. And I usually put my hand on the inside and there's a bar that runs across the air. So as you open it, it pulls the bar that way. I'll just try to pop the bar off. Like so. Next you'll find there's an adjuster here. Pull the adjuster. Usually just grab a pair of pliers. But what I'll do, so you'll take off the catch, which will be three screws. Remove that. And then you'll see there's like hooks on it. Now, the other thing you'll need to do, depending if it's an X, or some XDs have it, some don't, but XDs and XFs do. Where the rod goes for the door handle, there's like a little cover plate. With that cover plate, there's gonna be two Phillips head screws, which are located right here. So just above the door catch. And that's a little plate there. I had one screw in this one. Next thing I usually do, I'll get a big uh, flathead. For the door lock, I will just pop the actual door lock itself. So there's just like a little circlip that goes, or a decent sized circlip that goes behind it. So you should just do that and that's it, and let it pop out. There is a little circlip on the actual, on the actual lock itself, so for the key barrel itself. You can be very careful to take off a circlip you can, you can do it that way. Um, I would always, or you can, once you remove the mechanism, take it out. I usually like to take it out prior. That's just me. So I've just got some pointy nose pliers. I'm just gonna be very careful just to pop it. Pretty much off. I'm just being very careful it doesn't fling somewhere. That's okay. Just drop down. That's fine. You can get that laid off. Now the door lock can come out. Like so. The rod's still on there. Next thing you want to do, 10 mil again, there's a bolt here just below the catch. I usually undo the I undo it. So it's for the Bailey channel where the Bailey channel rubber is for the actual window itself. So I'll just undo the bolt, just so I can get behind to the mechanism. You can, you can pull the metal bar down and then actually take it out completely, or you can just move it to a side, whatever's easier for you. It's not very hard to pull back if you do, do that. Once I feel like the mechanism is free, which it is now, 
once that is free and this handles off and everything I feel like is disconnected, I'll just grab these pliers and that's it. I'll just give it a quick little turn and that is the complete mechanism with rods off, just like that. Just to show you the mechanism, that's it just here. So you've got the mechanism here. That is for the top, where the actual the nub is, or the knob should I say. So that goes up and down, that's all that is. This one here is for your key lock, which will lock and unlock the door. When this one moves into the correct place, which is approximately like that. That is for the actual door handle. So as you can see here, it's actually moved when, so when the door is locked, it does nothing. When the door is unlocked, it'll actually move this up and down. There's a little rod that sits outside. That's what will be moving on the catch. So that's for the actual door handle, for the outer, and this is the inner. And as you can see, that's moving fine. A little bit greasy, but that's fine. That's pretty much all it is to it. And you can do this process in reverse, same sort of thing. Just slowly work your way in to put the mechanism in first. Then I'd be putting the adjuster, so to speak, in next. So that's for the inner door handle, so that sits approximately like that. And that's it. Hope you enjoy it, guys.